This is a call for the wild at heart, for men in pursuit of something greater. This is their story. As a kid, there was this gaucho on this farm that we used to go to, and um, and 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 he was like a hermit. So he lived on his own in this tiny little farmhouse, and all he had was a dog and a couple of horses, and um, and he was a very humble man on the poor side. But um, what I admired about him was that he took his job with so much honor, and he just had this posture when he was on the horse and riding, he was so proud about his job. You could see in his face he had like a whole Bible written of stories, you know, just every wrinkle and, you know, burnt by the sun and the wind and the cold and, um, and he just knew how to survive and, and I thought, you know, I want to be a survivor like this. I realized very quickly that, uh, you know, I, that I was no good in the city, basically. And the only place I found before that made me feel useful was on, in the countryside, around horses. So my decision was very simple. It was very easy. It was like, don't, don't fix what is not broken, you know. You're all right on the countryside, you know, don't, don't try, try to change that. You know, I had a bit of pressure from the family. Uh, I wanted to become a vet. I wanted to study agriculture. My stepfather said I was going to starve with those things. He wanted me to become an economist and all these things. And um, and yeah, and it, it just I tried. I tried to please him, but it didn't work at all. We are up there in the mountains and we are on horseback and um, it doesn't matter how difficult the conditions are because, you know, you can have a howling wind. I still feel like this constant contemptness about everything and, you know, the thought of being at the right place and not needing to be anywhere else, basically, and that just gives you this incredible peace about life. 